What is good, y'all? I've got some massive buffs for Electrode, a super funny and cool and underrated Pokemon, in my opinion. Uh, if this type of ROM hack interests you just at a first glance, make sure that you check out the Google Sheet in the description because these buffs and changes are not meant to be looked at in a vacuum whatsoever. The power levels in this hack are very high. All types of Pokemon have crazy strong buffs, crazy strong abilities. Um, in fact, every single Pokemon is balanced to have two very useful abilities that it can switch between with an infinite use ability capsule. But one of the most important things that I want to have as a, as a little disclaimer for any new viewers is to check out the Google Sheet and look at this tab right here on the bottom that says search all moves here. You can check out all 600 plus move buffs and changes. I have changed so many moves that I would really just take away what you know about most attacks. Obviously simple ones like T-Bolt aren't changed, but you know, the vast majority of moves are buffed or changed in some regard. There are dozens of new priority moves and moves that work like Draco Meteor, close combat, recoil moves, multi-hit moves, moves that always crit, you know, uh, trapping moves, utility moves to drop opponent's stats, and even just the regular old attacks are all changed, you know, utility moves, healing moves, all types of crazy new stuff. So please do give all that a look. I've also organized it into type categories. If you see right here on screen, you can click these little links and it'll direct you automatically to that part in the sheet. And you can also just control plus F and search for specific moves. Um, for example, in this case, you might want to look at the normal type moves to see the special moves and look at what Galvanize can do with these moves, uh, which Electrode does get some crazy ones. Uh, he does have stuff like a uh, special explosion, which is 250 base power. Obviously, in a hardcore Nuzlocke, which is what this hack is balanced for, this is useless because you're killing yourself. Uh, so I wouldn't run that, but it's still pretty funny. Uh, the AI can totally use... Um, Basically, so Hyper Beam, right? Hyper Beam is a 160 base power move that drops your special attack step by two, like Draco Meteor does normally. Uh, and that's huge, right? With Galvanize, that's 192 base power coming off of 135 base special attack, which fits Electrode very well, in my opinion, and 155 base speed, who is, I believe, probably in like the top five-ish fastest Pokemon in the hack. Uh, no, he's about top seven. If you look at the Google Sheet, there's a speed tier guy that I'm going to show on screen briefly. Um, keep in mind, you're not guaranteed max speed IVs or a plus speed nature, but uh, that's actually beneficial for Electrode because you're not guaranteed a plus speed uh, nature or max speed IVs. You can actually outspeed things that you wouldn't otherwise outspeed um, with like, for example, the AI, right? They're always going to have max IVs, and and if they're a fast Pokemon, they'll have a plus speed nature to outspeed yours. So, for example, like 124, I'm just going to show 120, right? Like a Dugtrio, 120 base speed uh, versus 155, right? So 120, I'll just put that here. You had 372 at 120. 155 with a with max speed investment and zero speed IVs is still outspeeding that. So that's really good for, like, to have such a fast Pokemon, you can actually still outspeed a lot of these really fast Pokemon in the hack, uh, despite the fact that your IVs aren't, you know, probably not going to be that good, and your speed isn't guaranteed to be plus speed nature. If you're plus speed nature, you're outspeeding freaking everything. Like, that's awesome. You got lucky. But not that uh, a non-plus speed nature is bad, because, you know, special attack boosting nature would be good. Even bulk boosting uh, nature would be solid. The only bad one would be, like, not a special attack would be kind of a shame. Like adamant, that's the only bad nature. Even like something like plus defense, plus minus special attack would be fine because you do get a little bit extra bulk out of that, which is cool, especially for Berserk, which I'll get into in a second. But I want to cover the galvanized options because there's a lot of changes to normal type options uh, in this hack. So Hyper Beam, 192 base power, minus two special attack, insane nuke. Even clicking it twice in a row is absurdly powerful. Uh, the second use, basically 192 divided by two. 96. The second Hyper Beam is 96 base power. That's not bad at all. That's strong still. Like, that's a strong attack. You can use that three times in a row and still kill things. At minus four special attack, you are at a, a two-thirds drop. So, 192, 192 divided by three. The third Hyper Beam is still 64 base power with, with Galvanize. And it's so fast and strong. You can spam that three times in a row, and, like, it's, it's pretty crazy. Obviously, it's a little bit overkill um, in a hack like this. Like, you don't need to kill things that strong. Uh, you don't need that big high base power damage moves sometimes, which is why it's nicer just to have the more consistent, you know, less drawback, less accurate, inaccurate options, uh, because you're still clicking the button to kill whatever's in front of you at the end of the day. You know, you're not trying to catch something on the switch and, you know, hit a resisted Pokemon with a giant base power move. Uh, but yeah, my point was the AI really likes Explosion because you're so fast and so strong. Uh, explosion is 375 base power overall, right? Because it always crits. So the, all, the fact that it always crits also means that it ignores the special attack drop from Hyper Beam. So you can, so the AI will click Hyper Beam on you, then they'll explode in your face, and now you're like the only thing that can take that as a freaking, uh, you know. I mean, obviously you can EV and assault vest whatever to live it, but um. 
on paper, the only thing that could live that is like a ground type. Obviously, there's so many crazy bulky things in the hack, and there's resistances to electric and other electric immunity abilities. So it's not actually that crazy, but it's just a fun little uh, meme that the AI can use against you. Um, and they do have energy ball for ground types, as well as other good covers moves like Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, uh, Flash Cannon, which is 110 base power, Uproar, which is uh, post game only, but it's still a nice little fighting type version of uh, special fighting type version of Outrage. Flash Cannon, 110 base power, that's pretty good to hit certain Pokemon. Uh, Parabolic Charge is beautiful with Berserk, so I'm I'll, I'll quickly finish up touching on the galvanized stuff. You've got tri attack, which is 127 base power overall with uh, with galvanized, and obviously galvanized fits very well. I didn't even cover that yet. I think both these abilities are very fitting. Electrode, you know, he gets angry, he explodes. Berserk, pretty cool. Uh, widely, more widely distributed in this hack, so it's pretty cool. And he's actually one of the fastest Berserk Pokemon. Most of the other Berserk guys are like slower, tankier guys who are supposed to use healing moves to like you know rack up Berserk boosts. But Electrode can actually use like a faster switch in on a move get taken to like 130 HP and now you have a Berserk boost for free and obviously that will highly out damage the Galvanized 1.2 boost. So for example, you know, plus one Thunderbolt is stronger than Galvanized Tri-Attack, I believe, right? 90 times 1.5, 135. Yeah, you're about eight base power stronger overall. And of course your non-electric type moves are also boosted with the Berserk boost and you actually have reliable recovery in the form of recharge. So not only do you have Parabolic Charge, which will heal you really nicely, and that's a solid 70 base power stab move, uh, you also have Recharge, which will heal you by 130 HP. Uh, and you can actually, because of how fast you are, run max HP for certain boss fights and actually take hits really nicely. Recharge will also give you the charged up effect, which is sick. So uh, you can use Recharge plus Parabolic Charge. I would actually recommend using them together. And you can heal up a bunch of HP and deal massive damage at plus one special attack with that charge boost on Parabolic Charge. You are you know, melting whatever's in front of you and you're getting all your HP back. So that's super, super fun. Very, very cool option you can take advantage of. Uh, he is also very fast and he has great utility options like dual screens and parting shot. Parting shot is also widely distributed in this hack and that's great for Electrode because of how quick he is. You can quickly, you know, drop the opponent's stats. You also have stuff like Strange Impulse, which drops special attack stat by two and a bunch of other really useful little options here and there. Uh, commotion is 102 base power and always confuses with Galvanize, of course, otherwise it's an 85 base power. Normal type move. Uh, Try attack I already covered, it hits three times, so that also has the benefit of bypassing stuff like Wakan, very sturdy, and all that fun stuff. And then, uh, what, what am I trying to say here? Uh, try attack. Uh, oh yeah, Hyper Voice, that's what I was thinking of. Hyper Voice is a little bit weaker than that, but it's also, not only is it much earlier, Try attack and at level 50 will be like the end of uh, Ula. Actually, you'll be probably an Aether Foundation by that point. Well, Hyper Voice is like, you know, before Total Mimic you, so you'll be having Hyper Voice for a while. Commotion is your, you have a nice option before that, and then, you know, blah, 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 you get the idea. Um, Galvanize will be a bit useless uh, up until level 33 though, which is fine by me. Um, you know, you got to be careful with the, the Galvanize Swift, though. I mean, it's normally that's actually a really good option, but they're already really quick, and you already have Shockwave via Tutor, so Galvanize Swift is very situational. But for Hala, if you you know if you needed it for Hala or like a specific boss fight, you could actually ability capsule on. That's the beauty of having that infinite ability capsule. Uh, even the situational abilities like you know melee melee island Galvanize is still actually a viable choice for certain niche situations. Uh, yeah, Screech drops defense by two, that's really nice. Discharge is just reliable, strong, strong thing. Topsy Turvy, pretty, I thought that was kind of cute because like they're flipped upside down. Uh, and that's really also, it just fits his like kind of prankster asshole vibes, you know, his like big ass smirk. So Topsy Turvy, very, very cool with his, uh, uh, well, actually it's priority now. I forgot for a half second. So it doesn't matter that he's fast, but it's still a cool little option for totems, especially Totem Mimikyu. Um, Electro Ball is insane on Electro now because Electro Ball actually gives you a plus one speed boost. So Berserk plus Electro Ball is pretty nuts uh, because you can actually snowball out of control very quickly with Berserk Electro Ball. Because uh, Electro Ball, again, like I said, it gives you plus one speed. So that first Electro Ball is still going to be relatively weak because of the way that the damage calculation works for it. It's a shit move, right? Like it, it's, You're probably going to be getting 60 base power, maybe 80 if the Pokemon is very slow, but very rarely will you, will you be getting you know 100 base power Electro Balls on the first use. But after that first use, after the speed boost, now you're getting you know crazy fast uh you know you're ass beating everything you can run max hp electro ball parabolic charge berserk and just go to town it's so fun an absolute blast to use um pun not intended uh and of course if you're not doing the hardcore nuzlocke like, you can go fun and go boom on stuff if you want but this is not what the hack is balanced around uh, it's balanced more around hardcore nuzlocke and stuff uh not that it'll be easy if you're not doing a nuzlocke uh because it won't be if you're less experienced it'll still be a challenge but for very experienced players definitely uh do a nuzlocke and unless you don't want to you know play however you want uh lastly stuff like zap cannon and electro outburst are very strong 150 base power moves uh well zap cannon is 150 base power widely distributed it drops your special attack stat by two so it basically is like hyper beam and draco meteor and stuff there's a bunch of new moves that do that uh, and you have electro outburst which is pretty nuts uh electro outburst is a limited distribution move 
uh, that is 180 base power and drops special attack stat by four. In fact, two Electro Alperus and even two Zap Cannons are stronger than two Thunders in a row. Thunder is 140, sorry, 120, so it's 240. I lied. Two Thunders is actually stronger than two Zap Cannons in a row, but but of course you have that 50% chance to miss, which is pretty risky on a frail Pokemon like Voltorb, Electro, especially in a hardcore Nuzlocke. But my point was, uh, two Zap Cannons is 225, while two Electro Alperus is actually 240. That's what I was thinking of. I'm pretty sure it's 240, right? Because... 180 divided by one third is 60. 60 plus 180 is 240. Yeah. So two Electro Outbursts is as strong as two Thunders in a row. That's pretty damn crazy. The main drawback is that it only has three PP, but in a hardcore Nuzlocke, like you're only going to need to click that once or twice, and then you're going to switch out anyways. Um, and then of course the AI could use that and also go boom, but uh, Galvanized Hyper Beam is stronger than Electro Outburst. So the main use of Electro Outburst and Zap Cannon is for uh, Berserk, which is again pretty crazy. You know, Focus Sash, Electro Outburst, Berserk, and then you can boom or detonate. Detonate is also pretty cool. Um, that will always burn the opponent, and it's 250 base power, so that's pretty cool, and it's fire type, so that's that's all really fun. Overall, though, he's the GOAT. Great coverage, you know, he doesn't have nothing too crazy, but he's got all that he needs, you know, that grass and that, you know, stuff like Flash Cannon and all that fun stuff. It's all really uh, you'd really ever want. In fact, I'd say most of them are pretty situational besides Energy Ball. Uh, yeah, that re recharge with Parabolic Charge is a blast. Great utility moves. You know, that fast parting shot, those fast screens. He's just a really fun Pokemon to use. Uh, and of course, he still dies to all the common priority attacks in the game. Without HP investment, he'll still die to first impressions and stuff because he is pretty frail overall. So yeah, um, thank you so much for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, and I'll be back for more coming up. Peace.